Hey guys, Nikolai Tedeschi back here with another video. And today I'm going to be breaking down my top 10 favorite customs in my collection. Not going to lie guys, this was a pretty hard list to make as I have over like 30 customs. And as to probably no one's surprise, I love all these toys very much. So it was obviously a very difficult list to make. So before we hop into my top 10, let's just get two kind of customs out of the way. I was going to include them in my top 10. They probably would have been number one and two, but only a part of them is custom made. So I'm like, I'm not going to count that. It would make more sense if they're just on the honorable mention list. So the first honorable mention goes to this custom made C Toys Buzz Lightyear head sculpt. When I saw that C Toys was gonna make a Toy Story 1 and 2 film accurate Buzz Lightyear head sculpt face that you could put on the signature collection body and or the other Toy Story collection buzzes, I was a little blown away. I saw the pictures he posted. I was like, oh my God, I need that. Give it to me right now. It looks amazing. And for all of you who have not seen the full review on this head, please check it down below. I'll put a link to it in the description. It's an amazing watch. You'll see how bad I struggle trying to put this head on. <laughs> It's definitely not for uh, beginners, guys. It's uh, pretty difficult. You'll also see how bad I messed up these little uh, wrist joints, which I don't actually end up using. So this was kind of a fail, but you can see that in that video. You can remove his face and you can put other faces on him. And he has these little eyeball switches and you can change his movement of his eyes, but I'm just gonna keep it as it is. If you wanna see that video, again, link in the description. And it's just a magnet, connects very easily. So that was one of two honorable mentions Buzz Lightyear head sculpt. My next honorable mention, if you couldn't guess already, is also made by Seed Toys, and it is the Seed Toys custom Woody head. And I had the same exact reaction with the Buzz Lightyear when I saw this. There have been other customizers in the past that have made this film accurate Woody smile custom face before, but I really, really wanted Seed Toys because it also came with a bunch of little neat stuff and the hairlines were just really perfectly painted on the back of his head as well. Um, again, I did a video on him in the past where I fully review and fully talk about the process and putting it on his body here. So you can check out that video down below. I try not to put his hat all the way on his head because he has these really bad stress lines on the back of his head that you'll see in that video if you haven't seen it. Second honorable mention going to the Woody Seed Toys head. But on the topic of Woody here, just a little side note, if you have not seen Cinema Toy Box's 10,000 subscriber giveaway, you're going to want to head on over to his channel because he he might be doing a Metacom Woody giveaway at 10K. That's pretty huge, guys. So go ahead and check his channel out. Recently, we got in touch and he came over to my house and he actually filmed my collection on his channel, which is really, really cool. That was the first time I have ever done a in-person collab with somebody. I was kind of geeking out. He's the first person to like ever see my collection and like know what they're from, where I got them, how I got them, how much I've spent on all this stuff. He, like we had a little Toy Story nerd little geek out <laughs> when he came over. But uh, we actually live in the same neighborhood and we're gonna do some more collabs in the future. So make sure you subscribe to him and me if you wanna see more of that. So shout out to you, Cinema. And no, I am serious. Next time I see you, I will be stealing your Metacom booty. So look forward to that. Okay guys, so here we are at my top 10. And my 10th favorite custom in my entire collection is the pink bear from Andy's room in that first movie and a brief little cameo in the second movie in Al's Toy Barn. So what is not to love about this little pink bear here? I love that she chose baby pink for this guy. I think it looks very, very nice. It definitely stands out in my collection. And by she, I mean Eye Candy Monster Shop on Etsy made this. You can see her little tag here on the side of his waist here. And I got the 40 centimeter version. When I first got this, I didn't really know what size to get because I wanted to have my little dolly and ducky be the correct size next to him. And if you've seen that video, they actually look pretty good next to each other. But I got this guy for about $150 on Etsy. Not a bad deal. She does live in Romania, so it did take a while to arrive to my house. But when it got here and I unboxed it, I was just in love with it right when I saw it. She also does make a 25 centimeter version if you can't afford the 40 centimeter version, but it's only like a $10 difference. I think the 25 centimeter version was only like $135. So at that point, you might as well just get the big boy. Not much else to say about this guy, except that he was a inspiration for Lotso in Toy Story 3. So little fun fact for you, but Pink Bear. For my number nine spot, we actually have a character that wasn't even in the movies. <laughs> and it is Angel Kitty. Uh, she was actually in the Toy Story That Time Forgot little short from uh, Disney Plus 
Well, it wasn't released on Disney Plus. I think it was released on like Disney XD or something. Someone will correct me in the comments, but it came out in like 20. 11, 2012, or 2013, or 24, I don't know. One of those years after Toy Story 3. <laughs> um, but she's perfect. She's amazing. Um, she has lots of glitter on her, which is like the only thing I don't really like about her. It gets very, very messy. Dust and glitter mixed together is just a collector's worst nightmare. So, hey, maybe I'll put that on some new merch. Dust plus glitter equals disaster. That could be pretty fun. Anyway, Angel Kitty. She was in that short. She's pretty much just a Christmas ornament if you've ever seen it on Disney Plus, but she actually has a pretty major role in the short. She was made by a Toy Story custom on Instagram, my friend Adam. Adam, you did an amazing job. You make amazing customs. And maybe you will see more of Adam's customs on this list. Just gotta keep watching to see, guys. I love the little lace on the bottom of the skirt here. Right on it, the gold part and the little white here. The little gold bow tie is cute. Got some cute glittery eyes see right there and when I was moving a few months ago and I was packing all my toys away I packed Angel Kitty away and I was really worried because I thought this part right here and this part right here were gonna snap off but luckily they didn't so Angel Kitty is alive and well today and she is my number ninth spot so coming in for my number eighth spot I kind of cheated to be honest because I chose five different characters but once you see these guys, you, you can't separate them. And it is, of course, the Troikias from Andy's Room in the first two movies. So we have Dog, Cat, Duck, Fish, and Ladybug. I bought these guys on eBay last year from Brian Ashford. Bashford on eBay. Currently, these are not on sale on his eBay shop, unfortunately. But he does make them all the time. He's been making them for a long time. So if you guys want these for yourselves, then look out on his eBay page. I'll link it in the description below so you know when he posts these again. I think they were around $200 USD, which isn't a bad price because these are perfectly handcrafted. They look exactly like the ones from the movies. But if I just had to choose one and if I wasn't cheating, I would just choose Cat. I think she looks the most film accurate to any of them. I love the blue stripes on the back. I think this is my favorite part out of all of them. But these guys do mean a lot to me because they are made in Russia and so is this guy. This guy was also made in Russia. So these do hold a very special place in my heart because vintage Russian toys like this are just amazing. I have a bunch on my shelf that you can see in my collection room tour video that I posted I think two months ago now at this point. So link to that in the description below. You guys have lots of links to look at after this video, but that was number eight, uh, Troikias. So coming in at my number seven spot is another character made by Brian Ashford. And it is Roly Poly Clown from the first two movies. And I love this guy so much. He almost made like my top three. If I posted this video last year when I first got this guy, he probably would have been my top three. But nevertheless, he did make the top 10 and I, I love him so much. I love the detail. I love how he painted it. I love the little facial expression. It's so adorable. I feel like this guy and the pink bear stand out in my collection the most. That's what like people's eyes just draw to when they see it. The colors on these guys are just so wacky and out there that you just have to look at it right away because it's like no other character in my collection looks like this. So definitely why he made my top 10 list. But he was also made in Russia just like me. He jingles, as you can hear me moving him around, um, which is just a cherry on top about this guy. But the jingle isn't even the best part about this guy. The best part about this guy is that he actually rolls like this in the movie. Like when Mr. Potato Head slaps him in the face. Um, he is made of wood. He is not made of that soft little vinyl rubber material that you would think he would be made of in the, those movies. But if I didn't say he was made of wood, you guys probably would have thought he was made of that rubber. So. Brian, you did an amazing job. Please make more customs, man. You've only made these six, technically, and I would love to see you do some more. So that was my number seventh spot, guys. Roly Poly Clown. Love him so much. He looks so good next to my uh, other Andy's toys. So coming in at my number six spot is my first custom I have ever gotten in my collection. So he had to make the list. And it is the man himself, Wheezy. That's so painful. Look at that man. Look at that man's face. I'm never squeaking him again. That is the loudest squeaker I've ever heard. I don't want to wake up my roommates, but he is my first custom. And uh, if you saw my reaction to that video, it is the biggest, like happiest time I've ever been on the channel, I think. Uh, I was just blown out of the water with this guy's work. And the guy who made this is a cop, of course, cop on Instagram. Um, when I saw his customs, man, I had to have them, as a lot of you probably 
thought as well when you first saw his customs. But um, Wheezy was definitely the cheapest option for everybody at the time. He was only like $200. I think he still is $200. And uh, I bet this guy made over like a thousand of these Wheezy's because everyone wanted this. This was the only film accurate Wheezy at the time that we got. It's still pretty much the only uh, Wheezy that people have uh, customized. Um, because at the time there was the Disney on Ice Wheezy, and at the time there was other like little tiny like Funko Pop Wheezies that a lot of people used in their customs as a placeholder until this guy came out. So Wheezy, uh, he's a little dusty and dirty. I had him holding Mr. Mike's microphone standing on some blocks on my shelf and I put some tape on there. I'm gonna have to wipe that off. Yeah, it's like really sticky residue now, uh, but it fell off and it's kind of hard to pose him with the microphone. So I might have to find a new way to display him, but he does have some dust on his head, you know, collecting dust. As we like to say here, you can see the little squeaker in his mouth as well. A cute little red bow tie. He's perfect. He looks exactly like he was just ripped out of Toy Story 2. So that was Wheezy. Definitely one of my favorites. So here you are guys, the top five. And this guy right here, he just had to break the top five. And of course I am talking about Ham. Ham the Piggy Bank. He was also made by Seed Toys on Instagram. And for the longest time, no one has ever made a film accurate ham before him. The only film accurate one that we had around 2010 when all the Toy Story collection toys came out was the ceramic porcelain Disney store exclusive ham, which is about this size. Maybe he's a little bigger. I don't own him, so I can't really compare the sizes, but everyone used that guy for the longest time until this guy came out a few years ago that Seed Toys made, but he only made 88 of them. I have a little pamphlet up on my little uh, prop shelf, Toy Story prop shelf there. I had the 50th one, so I'm not sure if he ever made any more than 88. If someone knows, please let me know in the comments below. But I am uh, so happy I got to pick up one of them. He comes with lots of accessories. He has the Mr. Potato hat because he is Dr. Evil Porkchop. Evil Dr. Porkchop. I always get those uh, mixed up. Uh, he's got some dust, you know, it comes with some dust as well. And um, he has little uh, eyebrows, removable eyebrows and eyes that I've never actually moved because this facial expression is just fine. It's a little neutral facial expression. He's got an open mouth. And the best part about him is that his cork is actually removable. It's this big, fat, thick cork here. And he does come with some uh, custom coins that uh, Seed Toys made. So we have a gold one here with Ham's face. It says uh, Toy Story Ham, Toy Story Ham. Okay. And uh, just a little chrome one there too. But yeah, just a big little cork here. And uh, if you see right here, you can actually put the coins in. But the only thing, the only complaint I have about this guy is that it's a little flimsy up here on the top. There are some worse ones out there though about how bad this is. People have shown me like pictures on it, but then again, it's not too bad, especially if you're just displaying him on the dust collecting shelf. So if you guys don't know, this is a fun little rare fact on a Toy Story iceberg, if I ever did one on a Toy Story toys. There was gonna be a Thinkway Toy Story collection made ham, but they never actually made it. I think they scrapped it last second. Maybe they couldn't afford it. Maybe they didn't think people would buy it, but I think it talked. I don't know, I'm not sure, but there are pictures out there that have leaked before it was actually made into production. So um, kind of sad we never got one. It would've been cool to have a little uh, certificate with him. But there is always a light at the end of the tunnel because customizers later down the road, 10 years or so later, make customs like this. Which honestly, the custom made ones probably would have been a better ham than the Thinkway Toys one. But there's the nice silver lining with this ham. Uh, had to make the top five. I love them. Looks amazing next to their toys. He's made out of this nice premium plastic, which I'm glad Sea Toys actually made him as a little plastic. Because if he falls off your shelf, he's done for and you just lost hundreds of dollars. So, ham. Top five, fantastic job, Seed Toys. This is my favorite custom that you have made. Taking the number fourth spot is a custom that I have actually gotten very, very recently. And I've loved it so much since I've had it that it has made its way all the way to top four. And it is, of course, the Toy Story FR Custom Aliens, guys. For the longest time, I've always wanted custom aliens. It was like shocking that no one has made it up to this point. But Tomas, you did an amazing job. It is, it's, I don't even know, man. It, it almost made my top two, to be honest. I loved it that much, but there's other characters on the list that I just had to put 
on top of him because I've had him longer. But one day, you might be top three, buddy. One day. But wow, every time I look at it, it's just, it's straight out of the movie, guys. Um, he squeaks. <laughs> Not as loud as that wheezy one. Cop, you may have made your squeaker a little too loud on that wheezy. But um, this is a nice little squeak. If you see there, I have had for the longest time the Toy Story Collection Aliens. Check out that review that I did a few weeks ago if you want to see a more in-depth, closer look comparison of this alien compared to my Toy Story Collection Alien. This is just a top 10, so we're not going to do that in this video. He has no articulation, which is fine. Just his head. Just his head moves. Which is a little detail that the man did not need to add, but uh, Tomas, you knocked it out of the park. I will be giving away an extra three, you can see right here, to three lucky viewers at 10,000 subscribers. I am almost at 8,000, I believe. I think I'm at like 7,500, actually. I'm not sure. But at 10,000 subscribers, I will be giving away these aliens to three lucky viewers. So I will have that linked in the description below as well for you guys if you have not seen that video yeah toy story fr aliens very cheap as well they were only like 50 dollars each which is they steal for this absolute work of art so tomas knocked it out of the park man i want to buy more one day i want a whole like collection of them but there's certain characters that i need to buy first but yeah aliens top four i'll be here all day if i keep talking about them so let's move on so here we are the top three um, and this one right here is definitely going to shock all of you. You guys are going to be like, really? That that character there? Okay. And it is the Mutant Sandbox doll from the first Toy Story movie in Sid's Bag Yard at the end of the film. And I just had to include her on this list because of the pure detail on this. This is probably my most detailed toy in my entire collection. And I just had to add her on the list. Just look at her, guys. This was made by a Toy Story Custom on Instagram, Adam. As I said earlier, I might have another one of his toys in this video, and I wasn't lying. Here she is, Mutant Sandbox Doll. Her hair has all these little wirings in it, so you can move it how you like. Some little loose ones here at the bottom. Little details Adam did not need to add, but in the movie, she, they're all just kind of sticking up everywhere because they're all dirt. They're all stale from being in that little uh, mud pile for God knows how long. He has also made the Janie, the Sally, and the headless doll that I review on my channel. Check out that as well. Yeah, not much to her. I just love the missing eye. I love all the dirt details on it. And it's all dry dirt as well. When I first got her out of the box, I thought I was going to get mud and stuff on my hands when I started touching her. But it is all on there very nicely. And, um... Adam, this is probably your best custom you've ever made. Very underrated, I feel like. No one... I don't see anyone talking about this very often. Um, but... Mutant Sandbox doll, guys. This is what a custom should look like. This is the Mona Lisa. Might be kind of controversial saying that, guys, but come on. This is a work of art. You gotta admit that, at least. Coming in in the top two, we have my favorite character from Andy's room. Favorite side character, rather. And it is Rocky Gibraltar. And this guy looks exactly like the movie. Um, I feel like he is my most film accurate toy out of my entire collection. He he, and the aliens, I feel like, look exactly like they were just ripped out from the movie. I waited a very long time for this guy, unfortunately. I waited about eight or nine months for this guy to arrive, but it was so worth it when I finally got my hands on this man here. He was made by Cop on Instagram. Pretty hefty price, to be honest. He was around $600. At the time, $600 for a toy was absolutely insane to me. It still is pretty insane to me. Any regular viewer would probably never spend $600 on a freaking toy. But hey, we're not like other people. We actually spend thousands of dollars on custom toys for our collection. That's why you guys are here. So Rocky Gibraltar, lots to say about this guy. He moves, turn a little bit on his waist. Man, he's got some really tight joints. I never touch these guys. I never like review them or anything. Like after I do my initial Toy Story collection review on them, I just kind of leave them on the shelf for uh, people to come and see. It's like a it's like a museum. I had a housewarming party last month. All the people came in. They were like, this is like a museum, man. I love this. And uh, that's what I am. I, my room is a museum, I guess. A museum full of collected dust. But this actually fell off in shipping. And I've had this guy for, I think, two years at this point. But uh, I still have never super glued that on him. Main reason I haven't yet is because I don't want to get that glue residue like in between his eyes. Like I don't want it to creep out right here on this side and like uh, get in his eyes. So that's the main reason I didn't do it. I don't touch him anyway. So maybe I won't even 
super glue him, but <sighs> he's also extremely dusty. Coloring is really nice on him, uh, except for like the sun tanned look. That's the only thing I would change about him. Maybe Disney Plus one day will release a Forgotten Toys short on uh, where all of Andy's side character toys went. I would love to see that. What I want to know is if I was Andy, I would have not given away Rocky. He's like the coolest toy in Andy's room, side characters at least, but... Number two, Rocky Gibraltar. So here we are, my favorite custom toy in my entire collection. I don't think it's ever gonna be beat at this point. He is just too perfect. You guys thought spending $600 was bad on a character. How about we spend $1,000 on a character? And that's exactly what I did, but oh my God, was it worth it. And of course, of course I'm talking about it, the Stinky Pete himself, the prospector, the man. And this, of course, was made by Cop on Instagram. Um, and Cop, you did an amazing job with this guy. Oh, there goes his hat. Phenomenal work, man. I don't think anything you'll ever make in the future is ever going to top this uh, absolute uh, masterpiece that you have created, my friend. So props to you, dude. I could never make something like this. I wouldn't even know where to start. <laughs> um, but Stinky Pete, I'm sure a lot of you would have guessed it that this guy would have been my number one favorite customer if you've been a fan of the channel for a long time. But let's get a closer look for you guys on Stinky Pete. So here's the man. Whoa, he's good, he's fine. Oh my, <laughs> that could have ended really, really bad. Okay, uh, Stinky Pete, I'm just gonna hold him. I'm not gonna hold him by his stand anymore, but Stinky Pete, little plushy, the little fat guy here. Uh, he has a pull string. Got some amazing quotes on here. The cop did not need to include these uh, nine sayings that he says. Um, if you want to see all the nine sayings, check out this video right here. Link in the description down below as well. I go way more in depth with him. I do my actual unboxing, my initial reaction of seeing him. He had to be number one. Uh, just had to be. I think he always will be number one. He is my crown jewel in my collection and the character that everybody wants when they come to see my collection. So that was Stinky Pete. Any reason to pull this guy out is always a good one because I, I love seeing it. It just puts me in awe every single time. So if you guys can afford this, if your pockets are deep, then pick up Cops Stinky Pete. It's the best one on the market, in my opinion. My personal goal with these videos is to get the best. I want the best. I want the most film accurate ones. Even if I have to pay an arm and a leg for it, it's extremely amazing to own. And I'm very grateful for you guys that uh, support my uh, videos here and what I do so I can afford very uh, awesome Toy Story uh, collection toys like this. So here is the top 10 characters that we looked at today. Technically top. 15, maybe 17, including the honorable mentions. Let me know down in the comments which character was your favorite that we looked at today. Which character would you like to own the most? Gonna have a little fun down in the comments. If I had to choose only one besides Stinky Pete, honestly, it would probably be him. I would probably choose him over anybody. Or one of the aliens. Uh, eh, maybe not. We had the Toy Story Collection aliens. If you like what you see here and you want to know more about my collection, then consider subscribing. I will be doing a 10,000 subscriber giveaway, as I mentioned earlier in the video. And at 10,000 subscribers, I will be giving away the little squeaky aliens made by Toy Story FR. If you guys enjoyed this video, then comment, like, consider subscribing, and uh, follow me on Instagram. I have a new handle. It's just Nikolai Tedeschi, not Nick Tedeschi4 anymore. So I'm going to be posting a lot more on there. Also my TikTok. My TikTok's uh, Nikolai Tedeschi. So consider following me on there. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!